How's it going everyone? Got quite a lot to talk about as far as two PlayStation 5 upgrades. One of them recently came out and a patch will be dropping here shortly to refine it even more and an upgrade that has been awaited for a while now. It was scheduled for a release a little bit earlier on but it will be getting more information later in 2024 so we'll talk about that and Speaking of things being free, what is not going to be free is Assassin's Creed. You know, they're going to monetize these Assassin's Creed titles. They're going to sell you them at 70 bucks with uh, the upcoming titles. I imagine Red is going to be $70, but obviously they're going to extend the uh, viability and the financials of these games uh, via microtransactions. And it looks like with Assassin's Creed Infinity, it's going to be focused heavily on a monthly subscription fee and microtransactions. We'll talk that at the end of this video. It's Ubisoft being Ubisoft, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. But as the Game Studios tweeted out, on Monday, May the 13th, we'll be updating Fallout 4 on all platforms. This update will include new options for graphics and performance settings, as well as further fixes and improvements. Thank you for your continued feedback and support. So yes, Fallout 4 on Next Gen has had some issues. Um, but obviously a much better experience for console players than what it was previously in terms of, uh, you know, having performance upgrades. Fallout 4 has three graphic settings currently, a 60 FPS performance mode targeting a dynamic 4K resolution, a 30 FPS quality mode at native 4K, and a special 40 FPS mode for 1440p displays as well. You know, Fallout 4 is another one of those games that showcases anybody that was expecting 4K 60fps to be a reality across the board on current gen games. Don't even mind you that Fallout 4 was a last gen game initially. You were always a sucker. You were an absolute sucker. And I said that at t in 2020 when people were talking about 4K 60fps and some people had the audacity to push 8K. Yes, maybe for marketing they'll say, oh my god, this could push 8K. But like, bro, it's never going to push 8K. We're not going to play high quality games at even 4K 60 FPS and that became abundantly clear when games like Horizon Forbidden West the cross gen game was coming out and you had a quality mode that was locked at 30 FPS truly for a $400 box pushing 4K even at 30 FPS for the quality level of games that you're getting I don't think that's the worst thing in the world given that $400 for a console in the year 2024 isn't very expensive like all things considered, relatively to everything else, four hundred dollars for a console, I feel like isn't that crazy. And the performance that you do get out of PS, uh, out of a PS5, even if it's being pushed to the absolute limit uh, limits right now, and stuff like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, with its performance mode looks absolutely atrocious. Um, I still think it's a good value. But Fallout 4, nice to see that get updates. Obviously, a lot of new interest around the game after the Fallout Prime series. I say it like in every video, I have still yet to check it out, but guys, I've been doing pretty good as far as watching television series. It's mostly anime at this point, and I'll, I'll get to Fallout on Prime, but your boy watched solo leveling. I just caught up on this anime called Kaiju Number 8. Boys! Good show right there. I'm kind of I'm kind of fixing for like some more anime. So if you guys got some recommendations, leave them down below. Um, I think I'm gonna have uh, some things I'm gonna watch. I know my boy's been hounding me to give JJK another shot. I didn't get super into that, but obviously been getting hounded to watch the Fallout Prime series as well. Seems like everybody loves it, and um, it's really interesting because when the Fallout uh, Prime series was initially announced, I was like, all right, yo, Cash Grab City is what this is, and I didn't expect anything out of it and then it blew people away so you know sometimes my thoughts on television series i think things are not going to turn out all too well and then they turn out to be really really good with video game adaptations it really does seem to be a mixed bag sometimes you'll get really really great stuff and then other times not so much but with fallout prime uh it's been a slam dunk home run so Good to see the success on that, and I'm sure Season 2 will be well-received as well. Moving on from that, another free upgrade, a couple of notes on this. Hun Showdown's PlayStation 5 version will be getting an update later this year. So, uh, somebody asked, what's the deal with the huge update to the new CryEngine that was announced last summer or fall? It was supposed to be released in April, or at least that was the timeline when it was announced, and the official Hunt Showdown account noted, progress is indeed underway on the engine upgrade. We look forward to sharing more details with you later this year. So, details will be released later in the year. Now, Crytek had previously released a 60 FPS patch for PS5 users in November, 
and that allowed the PS4 version of the game, still the PS4 version, running smoother via backwards compatibility, but it's not a native PlayStation 5 release, so hopefully you'll get the true PlayStation 5 free upgrade here later this year. We'll see how that turns out, but not much more to go on as far as that's concerned. Lastly, I know you guys love Ubisoft. I know you guys love your Assassin's Creed. Look, I love Assassin's Creed from back in the day, and I'm trying to give more of the recent games a shot, and Assassin's Creed Insider Jonathan has claimed that Ubisoft's upcoming Assassin's Creed Infinity, which is more of like a hub-style game, I don't really even know how to perceive what it is, but it was noted that Infinity will feature a monthly subscription plan and place an emphasis on microtransactions, baby. Y'all already know. That's Ubisoft at its core, baby. They want to get money from you year-round. Uh, he noted, if what I've been told is true, Assassin's Creed Infinity will be quite focused on microtransactions with a monthly subscription, a bit like Game Pass, which will give access to all the old Assassin's Creed games. Not sure about the new ones. Future DLCs, one exclusive skin and item per month. It wouldn't be surprising when we see how much Ubisoft has made most of its paid skins on Odyssey and Valhalla but this would be worse. Man, could you imagine a monthly subscription service tied to Assassin's Creed giving you content, and then on top of that, there is, like, microtransactions in each individual Assassin's Creed game uh, for, like, costumes and things like that? It's, for Ubisoft, it's all about how can we extend that base monetization. Upping game prices to a publisher like Ubisoft, to a publisher like WB Games, that's not enough. But if they know, they would already know that they can't go the route of upping that base price to $80 or $100. That would be too much, but you get crafty so you can at least monetize these games further. You keep the illusion that you're keeping the game priced at the same price point as every other publisher, every other other big publisher but in reality if you look a little closer stuff like Star Wars Outlaws has a base game price point and a real game price point once you're locking out story based content day one that's no longer the entire game day one you you got to spend the hundred and ten dollars to get all the content and then you do crafty things like early access Sega has done stuff like new game plus being baked into the deluxe edition you get crafty in how you monetize these games you figure out things like subscription services and that that would be, you know, a level above for a single player focused title, but it always is what is the perceived value proposition. You can fool people into thinking that the value proposition is really good as well. I remember when Game Pass with all the first party Xbox releases started offering early access across the board uh, with the deluxe editions of the game. So, for example, if you had Game Pass... Uh, you could upgrade Starfield to the Starfield Digital Deluxe Edition, and you would get, I think it was three or five days early access for Starfield. They did the same thing with Forza. They did the same thing with the Gears releases. Uh, you got early access if you upgraded to the Deluxe Edition. And I legitimately saw people on social media, X, everybody's favorite platform, Twitter back then, but I saw somebody being like, I love that Microsoft is doing this with their first-party games. I hope every first-party Xbox game is like this as well, because, you know, they're fooled into thinking that they're getting early access when they're really not. You can fool value proposition increases out of people like that, and that can be kind of effective. They're trying the same thing with Assassin's Creed. And who knows, if Infinity is going to be a monthly subscription that gives you access to, like, Assassin's Creed Red right off the rip, okay, the value proposition, you're not even fooling me. The value proposition there might be something worthwhile. But legacy Assassin's Creed games that are already available, a lot of them, I believe, on Plus Extra, like, you know, you're diversifying your offerings on these different subscription services. Ubisoft has their own subscription service as well on PC with Ubisoft Connect. So, you know, all of this... We'll have to wait for an official reveal, but Infinity was officially announced back in 2021, and it's a live service platform kind of hub featuring multiple settings and connected games for the franchise, and it'll be something that'll be seeing releases, I believe they said every two years, and then it'll be extended via live service elements, and it's kind of confusing how exactly it's going to work. We need an official reveal with official information, but given it's Ubisoft, again, they're a publisher that doesn't have goodwill, or at least a lot of it, so I'm led to believe that it's going to be a egregious monetization and I would love to be proven wrong but what do I always say expect the worst and be pleasantly surprised when something better happens the words to live by but that'll do it for me again a couple of ps5 free upgrade updates with fallout 4 getting a new patch and hunt showdown hopefully getting new information by the end of the year and assassin's creed infinity kind of interesting we'll have to see how that all turns out that'll do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thank you for watching sound off down below and goodbye
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.